what's up YouTube land? It's your boy Vega Bomber in the house and I got my special guest with me. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> right? Ryan O'Toole from, you know, Ryan O'Toole who watches movies and he does this from Massachusetts and so I'm in Texas and but this is the the greatness of technology that we can sit down and talk yes. about. The best YouTubers. And by the way, that's our topic tonight. What we're going to do is we're going to count down the top 10 movie reviewers on YouTube. So what we'll do first is we'll just start with uh, the honorable mentions. And so Ryan, since you're the guest, we'll let you go first. What are your honorable mentions for great YouTube reviewers? Well, first off, thanks, Vega Bomber, for doing this collab with me, man, on the top 10 best movie reviewers on YouTube I've always wanted to do a collab with you since the very start because you're such a good, loyal friend of mine on YouTube, and uh, I'm very excited to get into this. So my, honor <laughs> my honorable mentions are the first one I have is Kevin Smith, and the next one I have is Austin Putnam and JTE Movie Things. They're all great uh, movie reviewers on YouTube. You should definitely check out. I will definitely do that. And I will say that my honorable mentions would be first, uh, Michael Bairdy from Belated Media. He doesn't post as much, but man, his stuff is good when he does. Uh, also, Dr. Movie 91. I think he's in Tennessee. He's pretty good. And then my last would be a guy that's, he's on his way up. It's, it's, it's taken him a bit, but he's coming. And his name is Prim. And he's Prim 0011. Able, A B L E. You gotta give him a short. It's just prim. I think he'll be cool. So, with that, that's our honorable mentions. But now we'll jump into it. We'll start at number ten. Ryan, do you tell me who it is that you have at number ten, and then kind of why you like them? All right, let's jump into this. So, my number ten is What the Flick. Now, these guys are a group. One of them is Alfonso Duran and. Ben Mankiewicz. I forgot the girl's name, but what the flick? These guys have been around for a while. I've been watching them for a good year now, and I really like to watch um, group movie reviewers, especially people who are a bit older than me, like have more knowledge on films, and I really like what these guys all have to say about films. And what the flick? I don't watch them regularly, but usually for big releases, I like to hear difference of opinions. And so... What the Flick is one of those channels I like to watch. Love it, love it. So my number 10 would be a group of guys. Actually, his name is Jody Joe. He calls himself Jody's Corner. And a lot of times he brings a bunch of guys on there. He's got a whole couch full of dudes, and they just sit there and they just go off on the movies. Or if they love it, they kind of do that. But Jody's very uh, passionate about it, if you will. And he's growing, man. I think he's right over 10,000 uh, subscribers at this point. So... Yeah, look out for Jody's Corner that's coming up. Who do, you mm -hmm. have, who do you have at number nine? My number nine is a female movie reviewer. I do have some females, man, not just males, right, of course. Right. <laughs> <laughs> coming in at number nine is Impression Blend, a.k.a. Mariana. Do you know who she is? I've seen one of her videos, I think. I've, she's shown up in the feed off to the right of suggestions. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've been watching Mariana for about, I think, two months now, and I watched a lot of her videos, and I really like them. I think she's a very good editor, and I like the way she sets up her videos, and also she does TV show reviews. I watched her reviews for Stranger Things, which is a show I want to get into yeah. on Netflix because of the positive reviews. And I just really like the way she lays out her videos, and I love to hear her opinion a lot. And I've been watching all her reviews, and I think she deserves more subscribers, definitely. All right. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to take a look at that now that you didn't said that. So my number nine is a guy I did a collab with just uh, two weeks ago in Austin, and that's uh, Sean Chandler, which Sean Chandler talks about. So what I like about him is, other than he's just a three-hour drive away, is that He's very uh, detailed in his analysis of movies. You can tell he's watched a lot of movies and a lot of different genres. So when you listen to Sean, and plus he's energetic. Like when you meet him in real life, he's kind of calm. But when you, when yeah. you see him on the video, and you know you've seen some of his videos, he, uh -huh. he's yep. very energetic in the video. But in real life, he's kind of calm. But Sean Chandler, I have at number nine. 
So who do you have? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to collab with Sean Chandler in a few months. We're doing uh, the Planet of the Apes movies leading up to War for the Planet of the Apes. Oh, you know, you know, that's my fave right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my number one anticipated movie for the year is, is uh, Planet of the Apes War. It's my second behind Star Wars, obviously. Um, so uh, coming in at number eight, I have another girl movie reviewer. She's pretty popular. Beyond the Trailer, a.k.a. Grace. Ah, Grace pretty sure. Yeah. I watched Grace for um, almost a year now, and I, I mainly watch her trailer reactions. But watching some of her movie reviews, I do like the way she lays them out. She like has like a list of things, and like she discusses certain points like yeah. by yeah. pictures yeah. i like to see different style of reviewing and watching her videos i can see she's doing something original with it and so beyond the trailers number eight and yeah i really love her layout and i think you're right her production value is pretty good so when you look at her screen it's very clean like you said it's definitely lined up so i agree my number eight is also a female reviewer she's actually here in texas as well in austin and that's Alachia Queen. And so I mm -hmm. kind of dug her because she wasn't afraid to say that Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters, sucked. Because, <laughs> because if you say that, then you're a misogynist or a sexist because they are like swap. But, but she was able to come out and say, nah, that movie did suck. And she wasn't willing to back away from that. And I thought, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, she, and she loves Deadpool I can <laughs> yes let me not forget that she's definitely a huge Deadpool, uh, Deadpool fan so she's crazy but I love her she's awesome <laughs> so number 7 who you got at number 7 alright coming in at number 7 I know you guys are going to write in the comments Ryan why is this guy so low on your list he's really awesome <laughs> I'm sorry guys well his channel name is Channel Awesome and that's Doug Walker, the Nostalgia Critic. Okay. Now, I did watch a couple of uh, Doug Walker's videos. I really like them. I just don't watch him a lot. Mm -hmm. The last video I watched him was his collab with Chris Stuckman on Rogue One, which was really funny. But <laughs> I like to watch Doug Walker. He's an older reviewer, just like a lot of people. And I really love his love for Star Wars, especially. Mm -hmm. I watch a lot of his videos on that, and I just like to get a good laugh out of the Nostalgia Critic. Yeah, he is funny. I mean, you can tell they put a lot into the comedy beats in there and everything. It's almost like they've sat down, they've sat down and written out kind of yeah. what they want the jokes to be. But yeah, when they do any of their parodies, their parodies are spot on. And yeah, he's pretty funny. And so at my number seven is it's funny is a group that's also going for the shtick and entertainment value too, and that's um, Ecog Media Group. So, if you've ever I love seen those them, guys. <laughs> yeah, see, day see, one, day <laughs> one, we there. That's right. Day one, we there. Those yeah. guys crack me up. I like that stick that they have. You know, they got the the gangster uh, ghetto gangster thing going. And the first one you watch is you're like, are these guys for real? And then after you watch for a little bit, you can tell it's like, no, that's just a stick. That's what they're doing. But they have it perfect. And I like that other girl that's always in the video that's always quiet that never says anything. Like, She's like Katana from Suicide Squad. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I got those dudes at number seven, and I think they, they're putting out some good stuff, and their reactions are also pretty good as well. So, I agree with you, man. Those guys make me laugh so hard. So <laughs> funny. <laughs> so number six. All right, coming in at number six, this guy's a classic reviewer. We have Angry Joe Show. Okay. Angry Joe. I watched this guy for a month now, and I just love this guy. He's so hilarious. And something I've always loved about the Angry Joe show is his background. Like, it's a movie theater. I wish I had that from my background. Mm -hmm. Give it a little more color, a little more sway. <laughs> and, and he's one of those guys who he, he has a group with him. It's not just him. Mm -hmm. And I love his discussions. His uh, spoiler discussion for Ghostbusters was so funny. Yeah. And I like to watch those reviewers who have a sense of humor. And the Angry Joe show is so damn funny. Yeah, I've actually watched him a couple of times, too. And since he's such a big Superman fan, it was great to see what he thought of Batman v Superman and then, of course, the first Superman film. So, yeah, he doesn't hold back. He doesn't pull any punches at all. Yeah. But that's his style, and I think it works. It's pretty funny for me. At number six for myself, you may have heard of this guy, but it's a, it's called um, Variant Comics. And the guy, that's, mm -hmm. the head of it is, his name is Eris Quinones. 
And he really goes into all the real nerdy features of, like, when you see a comic book movie, he can tell you where, what, whether it's comic book accurate or not. And he just has such an in-depth breakdown. But then his production value, his production value is ridiculous. You could tell they've been doing it for six or seven years because their background looks like a true storefront at the comic book store. And it looks yep. like something that you might see on the Big Bang Theory. Like, it looks that good. Yeah. And then they're editing their cutaways and their takeouts and take-ins. And I mean, it's just it's a good channel. So Variant Comics, I have at number six with uh, the main guy being uh, Eris Quinones. Nice, man. Nice. Yeah. So now here we are, folks. Thanks, you guys, for watching. We're now at the top five. These are the top five. You cannot get mad at Ryan. You cannot get mad at me. If your favorite guy is not in the top five, just keep watching. Maybe they're in the top three or maybe they're number one. But at number five, you get to kick it off, Ryan. Who do you have? All right. My number five is I love this dude. That's Andre from Black Nerd Comedy. Yeah. Yeah. I love him. He's so damn funny. I love watching. He's such a passion for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles like I did. He's so funny. The way he opens his videos, but, ah, black country, black country, black country. <laughs> dude, yeah. so hilarious. Yeah. I think you met him, actually. I did, actually. He came oh. to uh, he came to Texas for the uh, one of the movie premieres, and they had the, a, teen, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fun run. And so he came down there to be a part of that. I just ha he happened to be at the same store that I was at, and I was like, "Hey, Andre, and totally cool guy." Even though he's internet famous, he doesn't act like he's internet famous, you know. And it was a good that's guy true. too. So I love him. And in fact, great minds think alike. That's who I have at my number five. It's also yeah, Andre. That's right, and he is. He's a good dude. Now again, his comedy skits are perfect. He has something funny to say on everything, and a lot of it, I think, it might be off the top of his head. I don't think it's written. I think he's just naturally that funny. What do you think? He's in, yeah, I agree, man. And he's one of those guys who's just growing each and every day. Like, I'm just watching his videos. He he makes every single video better than before, and just watching his sense of humor shine on the video camera, and he deserves to have a million subscribers and I just love his videos. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good, man. He's really, really good. So moving on to number four, who do you have at number four? My number four is the flick pick. Hmm. Have you watched the flick pick? I have, because I sometimes get them confused with what the flick, but the flip what the flick and flick pick are two different things, right? <clears throat> yeah, the flick pick. Hey, this guy's name is John Flickinger, and I've watched the flick pick ever since I saw him collab with Chris Stuckman on a video. They're really good friends, and I see it. And watching the flick pick, I went over to his channel, and I just watched a lot of his movie reviews, and his flick trips are so funny. <laughs> and this dude is just so hilarious, and he's so ripped. He's like Batman. Yeah, who, yeah. He has a love for Batman, mm -hmm. and... Just watching the flick pick, I'd just love to get a good laugh from him and just to get his opinion on films. And so I love the flick pick. That's why he's got my number four. Number four, right? So at my number four, and I agree with that, I've, I have watched his stuff, and yeah, he, he's, he's got an intensity about him, and you got to love it. You know, you imagine somebody who's that ripped has that kind of intense personality, and he does have that. So my, my number four is actually his buddy. I have Chris Stuckman. At number four. Wow. Yeah, I know that's going to blow some heads, but oh. yeah, but I have him there. What I love about him is that he's not trying to be like everyone else. He's not trying to talk really, really fast, really, really loud and do a lot of hand gestures. You could tell he's really put a lot of thought. And then I like the series that he does based off of movies. Like when he does the what's wrong with horror movies, what's wrong with action movies. I mean, they're really uh, oh. very insightful and very well thought out. So I, I like <clears> the brain <throat> on that dude. That dude's pretty sharp. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right, so folks, guess what? I'm sorry about that. All right, guess what? Uh, Number three. These are the top three now. So this is the holy trinity right here. Again, you can't get upset. This is just our opinions, but who do you have yeah. at the three, right? <laughs> All right, my number three is the Schmoes No. Mm. All right, Christian Harloff and Mark Ellis, the Schmoes No. These guys are up there. Um, I love watching these guys. I've been watching them ever since I started getting into movie reviewing. And I just love hearing these guys talk. Their chemistry on s camera is perfect. And I especially love Christian Harloff. I can tell that he is a, has a huge knowledge on film, man. Yeah. 
He's just so good with his opinions. And Mark Ellis is really funny, too. He, too, has a good depth and love for film. And I just love watching these guys. Every single movie I see every single week, getting their opinions, and that's all I need from a great movie reviewer. So the Schmoes Moes, my number three. I like that, too. I like them. They're really good because, you know, the Christian, he just – He's, I don't know if anybody can beat him on his Star Wars knowledge. I mean, he's just tight with that, you know. I think he gives Campy a run for sure on that. My, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so my number three is going to be Red Letter Media. So whenever they did their, you know, fix it, whenever they did the thing about the Phantom Menace and those prequel films, it was hilarious, well-written, kind of dark, kind of crass, you know. Plinket. But it's them and the whole Plinket thing. So since then, I like just their kind of dry humor, very sarcastic type humor, and they just they put fun at everything. So, I mean, you've seen them a couple times, I'm sure, right? Star Wars: The Phantom Menace is the most disappointing <laughs> thing I've seen since my son. I love that review. One of my favorites. <laughs> so I had those guys definitely at number three. So now the top two. So who do you have at two, Ryan? Now, guys, I know who you, you guys know who my top two are. It was so hard to pick which one was my favorite, but one stands out over the other. Number two for me is Jeremy Johns. I watched Jeremy John. The first guy I watched was Jeremy Johns. It was his Captain America Winter Soldier review, and I just loved that movie. And I just clicked on this guy's review. I wanted to hear what he thought of it. And Jeremy has such a different perspective. Like, he doesn't go in depth like his video his reviews are really short he gets right to the point and he gives a rating system awesome tacular buy on blu-ray dog shit whatever <laughs> and i love jeremy johns he brings that swag that humor and his personality is great so jeremy johns he's a classic wow yeah i like jeremy i think he's probably the standard i think he's probably the most popular movie reviewer in terms of numbers if he's not beaten by someone else it's got to be close but yeah i like him too and his production value is what's interesting about it because he just turns on he's got like a red light or a red screen behind him that's it and the rest of it is all carried by his personality his ability to like you said to get to the point say the witty yeah. things and then move on right and he's so he's, he's really good at that so my number two actually happens to be the schmoes no that's where i have them and so christian harloff again me nice. being as you would probably imagine the big star wars nerd so since they have a lot of they cater a lot of their uh, videos to star wars than they were before they yep. even came on collider uh yeah i found him to be extremely knowledgeable he's the kind of guy that you could have a beer with and know everything would be cool even if you disagreed with him you know yeah. And, and, you know, and his sidekick, Mark like Han Solo. There you go. <laughs> That's exactly right. And you know, and, and Ellis is good too. You know, I think he, since he's a stand-up comedian, and he adds a little bit of flavor from coming from a comedian's perspective. And so, yeah. And I think what, aren't they the only reviewers that are on uh, the Rotten Tomatoes? Aren't they? The yeah, only I think. Yeah, they're certified with Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, and I think they're the only yeah. YouTubers that are certified everybody else is working for a newspaper or a magazine i think is that isn't that right yeah that's true and it's cool how they have uh that and collider now that they're a part of that huge empire they really have <laughs> chances to shine yeah they do and they have so many other products so many other shows that they do which are pretty great as well so yeah they've maximized it so that's my number two and now fans i know y'all have been waiting for this we are now at number one and i'm gonna let Ryan, go first. So if you guys throw cans, you'll hit him first, and maybe you'll hit me second. But... <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> so who do you have a number one? Number one, drum roll, please. Chris Stuckman, obviously. There uh, Chris Stuckman's the man. I've been watching this guy, same as Jeremy Johns, and my first video I saw of Chris Stuckman, I believe, was his analyzed review for Prometheus, I think. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get a difference of opinion on that movie because Prometheus, it's not a bad film. It's okay. And Chris Stuckman, after watching his review, is like, this guy has a point. I, I like what he has to say. I'm going to subscribe to him. And, and I've just been watching Chris ever since then. I just, he has a passion for movie reviewing. Like, this guy loves what he's doing. And this is the guy I go to whenever 
all right, is this movie going to be good? Is it going to be bad? I'm going to watch Stuckman first. And I just trust him. He's really good. He really knows what he's saying. He doesn't bullshit his reviews. He gets straight to the point. He tells the truth. And Chris Stuckman is the man. So he's my number one. Uh, I say that's a good pick. You can't go wrong with Chris Stuckman at all. And I'll just say that my number one pick then is from the Screen Junkies, Dan Merle. Now, I love Dan Merle because he's the guy that's not afraid to be critical, but he can be critical in a very funny way. Like, he's not afraid to go after the movies that everybody else won't say anything negative about, like if it's a Star Wars movie and everybody will jump on the bandwagon. He, he will tell you why it isn't as good as maybe some other films and back it up with some solid stuff. So I like the way he's able to critically think through movies and he doesn't just buy into the hype because, well, you know, it's what, you know, the Hollywood's trying to shove down your throat and, you know, he doesn't go with that. He says, no, nah, here's the movie. But then he's fun. So he doesn't get too critical of where you can't stand him. You just go, wow, he's just a guy that, you know, the way he thinks, he's able to really go through things and say, wow, this is why this is good, this is why this isn't. So for me, uh, Dan Merle, as soon as I discovered him, he just kind of leaped frog ahead of everyone else because I hadn't seen anyone be just that, uh, that exacting with how to watch films, right? Like he gets story, he gets the elements, he gets all of it. And then can make good arguments why it is or isn't good. Yeah, I've been watching him on movie fights and I agree, he really does back up what he's saying and you can tell that he does his research, his homework. And uh, uh, yeah, Dan Merle, he's really good. I love watching him on movie fights, just owning those people. Yeah, and you know what? To be able to defend a movie with good solid points, that's pretty good because I mean anybody can watch a movie and go, wow, that was great, but then they can't tell you why it was great. He can tell you why it was great or why it wasn't great, you know, and so I think that's much needed in a world where, you know, there's a lot of cheerleaders out there, but, you know, it's good to know there will be somebody who will shoot you straight. That's him. So, guys, that's uh, our list. I'm sure you can come up with your own list, and so what we'd like for you to do at this moment is go ahead and go down to the comment sections below and tell us what your top 10 looks like. Or if we have something that's in that list that seems crazy or stupid or dumb to you, okay, yes, but tell us why you think something else better should be there. But for that, I just want to say, if you haven't had a chance, you guys need to go over to Rhino Tools channel. You need to check them out. You need to like, exactly, and then you need to subscribe. And if you haven't done that, what are you waiting on? I just got to ask you, what are you waiting on? So, Ryan, what about you, man? What do, what do you have to say to the, the commenters below? Well, first off, Vega Bomber, you're the man. Thanks for inviting me to do this collab with you. And it's been a pleasure. You're a good buddy of mine. And, guys... If you haven't yet subscribed to Vega Bomber, go subscribe to him. He deserves it. He's the man. He's fantastic. <laughs> and again, it was a pleasure doing this with you, man. Can't wait to do more with you in the future. And that's right. And now that you mentioned that, thanks again, Ryan. That's really cool. You know, guys, the Foskers are coming up because the Oscars will be here on Sunday. The Foskers will be here. So I'm going to see if I can't get Ryan in on a, on a segment to see what he does and we'll see what he might say about some of these movies because I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. But otherwise than that, that is it from both yeah, Massachusetts and Texas. And so it's your boy Vega Bomber and Ryan and we are officially out. Bye.